gonna try and get through this because I have a really bad migraine, but I think it's worth mentioning this in this context. Please bear with me. So this week at the Teaching Students with Special Needs course that I'm also taking this semester, it was really interesting how they described giftedness, and I'll link all of the videos that I mentioned today in this video in the description below if you want to refer to it. Kids that are gifted are more likely to experience like, sensory overload. They're great at one thing, but they're not really great at other things. And this kind of ties into this other video that I saw this week. There should be a scientific study on people that haven't been asked out or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is the scientific inquiring mind that I have will always look for the most logical explanation. What does the other video have anything to do with this, right? I went to a really, really awesome high school where our giftedness set us apart from everyone else. Many of my friends who are watching this went to the same high school. Hi guys. There wasn't really much time to think about boys and dating and stuff like that. Maybe not, but not me. This video, the one with the, the TikTok thing. By the way, I think if TikTok was a thing when I was younger, I would have made it big on TikTok. I'm pretty sure that would have happened. There are so many good hot takes on that video, so at the end of me watching it, I realized, oh, that's I should just link that through and not, you know, add to it. But I do want to say that the impact of having your worth tied to something that you need to work on and and also at the same time something you can't change it really does have a huge impact on you and i guess it's just how you manage it as you get older so like their issue was not being asked out when you were younger in your formative years teaches you that you're not worth anything that's there is truth to that i can say that i've had those thoughts as well but at the same time it shouldn't be the only measure of your value and on the other hand going to a really intensive STEM-based high school is instilled in us that because we are the cream on top of the cream of the cream of the crop, there's a certain standard that is expected of us, and that's a lot of pressure for a 13, 14, or 15-year-old. The whole point of me mentioning this is that newer studies have shown that there's a more holistic explanation to giftedness, and it does have specific impacts on emotional and, and mental well-being. Positive or negative, it depends on the person, but you think that ultimately you're, you're successful. You're bound for success, but not really. I don't know, I hope I made sense. But yeah, happy Friday, first Friday of Lent. I'm pretty sure I don't have COVID. I can still taste my food. What is the point I'm trying to make? I have so many points. Um, 